Nityanandam Paramasagadam Kevalam Yanamurtim Bundvatitam Gaganashudasham Tatvamasya Rilaksham Ekam Nityam Vimalamachalam Sarvadi Sakshi Bhutam Bhavatitam Trigunarahitam Sadgurum Dham Namami Nityanandam Hi, this is Maa Nitya Ovyananda and I'm filming, to, I'm filming here live again today uh, at Adi Kailasha, uh, the beautiful home of His Holiness, the avatar, Paramahamsa Nityananda, our Swamiji. Uh, and I'm sitting here in the beautiful Nityananda Sadashiva Devastanam, uh, the first phase of the Sadashiva Mandapam, the first phase of the Golden Temple being built. So uh, I was I'm exp expanding a little bit on what I said regarding the, the wonderful session we had today with Swamiji. And I want to uh, share with you the beautiful things that Swamiji has done uh, from the, uh, the humble beginnings uh, of Swamiji to this, this place as it has developed now into a full-fledged you know, university campus, uh, this temple getting built, the Golden Temple. Uh, and Swamiji just came here in 2003 and there was basically nothing. He built this whole mission, the whole Nityananda Sangha, from the ground up. How does a person do this? One person. How does he do it? Do you know that Swamiji, he has over 300 books, 500 titles. He has over 8,000 hours on YouTube alone. And you know how many more hours? He's got at least 10,000 hours that haven't even yet been published of of the truths that he is delivering from the cosmos. That many hours he's recorded, reaching out and speaking to people. He started the Sannyas Sampradaya uh, here. Uh, back all the way in 2003, he had the first training here at the Adinam, right in the beginning. Uh, and I've, uh, I've made videos and, and showed about the Sannyas uh, lifestyle and how important it is. Um, nobody on earth is doing all of the things he's doing and single-handedly you know he was he was persecuted uh, by media mafia and by other sp spiritual anti uh, spiritual elements he was held beyond uh, illegally held in prison for over 50 days um, then he was told oh we can't do this that this leave the country that this so he says okay well I'll still reach uh, my disciples and, and people I'm gonna film you know, and that's how all the filming started and the YouTube uh, uh, began. Because he wanted to reach people. He has, he has so much to say and to reach all of humanity and raise the consciousness of humanity. So no, no matter what, nothing stopped him. So he began just here in the temple with one camera and one, you know, little microphone and somebody filming him, teaching, uh, you know, in front of the disciples and people that would come to see him. They, they were here. And those were the first days of satsang where he delivered his discourse. And from then till now, all of that uh, is there. And um, he's sharing that with the world. All of the spiritual truths, you know, from his own life, from his biography, you know, his autobiography, his own life, and the things that have happened. And he speaks so much about other saints, I mean, like Ramakrishna, and how he was inspired, uh, you know, by the various different saints. And then also all of the different things that he has done in his life. Uh, and just basically from nothing this place was a huge land uh, he even spoke about how they they had a light fires uh, you know basically where he was sleeping because there's there were cheetahs and other uh, wild animals here you know so it was like such a raw place um, and you know I, I just can't believe it, it's really super amazing uh, to be part of this uh, life with Swamiji you know, it's um, it's really difficult in words to describe, you know, and so that's why I keep saying, you know, please come and meet Swamiji because so much in your life will be transformed. And he's such an inspiration to thousands, not only, you know, the spiritual level of meeting and connecting with people, but uh, reviving the Vedic tradition and Sanatana Hindu Dharma. Do you know there's 15 terabytes of Sanskrit Sanskrit literature that he has. Uh, it's in a, a mind-boggling amount, 15 terabytes. Uh, he's, there's the largest uh, amount, uh, repository of Sanskrit literature is here with him. 
and we're talking ancient manuscripts, electronic manuscripts. You know, all of that, he, he has a team now, and the team is growing to be huge. That's uh, translating all of this. So he can reach the people with these amazing uh, science of the Vedic tradition, because everything Swamiji is teaching can be traced back to the, the Sastras. Uh, and the Agamas, uh, delivered by Sadashiva. And in the historical time, it's over 60,000 years ago. I mean, can you imagine? You know, some history books say that the world's only around a few thousand years, you know, and, and 60,000 years ago, a man was running around, you know, like an ape, which is not true, you know. Uh, but Swamiji uh, is just continuously delivering that, reviving the Vedic tradition, because the way we connect with the cosmos and the way we connect with the divine being that's already inside of us, uh, Sadashiva, super consciousness that lives in each human being, that's what he's connecting us to in so many different variety of ways. From his live discourses on YouTube, to all of his programs, to all of his publications, to reviving Sanatana Hindu Dharma, to educating people what's happening about the atrocities, uh, the liter literary atrocities that are happening uh, against the Hindu uh, manuscripts themselves, the, the sacred scriptures, purposely and wrongly mis mistranslated so that people would have such a wrong idea about Hinduism. I mean, it's really disgusting. There's so many different things uh, that has been done and that's like nothing really compared to like all of the other like human atrocities that have happened and the, the man-made uh, man you know, famines and all of the different things that the Britishers have done to the Indian civilization. But guess what? You know, we're still here. And thank God, you know, the masters are still here and Swamiji is here to revive all of this. And he's shown with his will of persistence against all odds that he's not giving up, he's not backing down. And we're here to support him and be a pillar for him in whatever way we can. You know, through the one, uh, connecting to the oneness, you know, the, he's manifesting the many. So through us, let him, you know, let him reach the world. So that's why we're filming, so that we can share with you the amazing uh, being, the avatar uh, and planet Earth today. It's, it's, it's just a happening that you don't understand until you actually sit in his physical presence, and then you can appreciate and understand. So that's why I'm urging each one of you, please sign up. Go to the program's link that I'm going to put here, and I put in all the videos. You can sign up even for Sunday. Kalpataru. You can either come here and do the program where you can actually have Swamiji's uh, darshan and initiation, or you can do it through your local temple or center. But even there, the high energy level that's there inside the centers and temples, because that space that Swamiji creates around each class, each acharya is exuding and radiating that space that through Swami, uh, Swamiji's energy is coming out through them and just to the class itself. No, it's amazingly powerful. Uh, even the very first time I did one Kriya, you know, it's basically like a 40-minute meditation with different breathing techniques and, and poses. And before, a year before I even went to any programs or even started following Swamiji, I just randomly went to a cafe and did that uh, meditation with some friends who already met Swamiji. And I was like, okay, whatever, I'll go. But I amazingly felt that energy stirring in me and something happening in my system just from doing one uh, meditation led by some other person I don't even know and it wasn't even like live Swamiji or even a recorded Swamiji he was just basically going through and, and showing us this meditation but the power behind what Swamiji does is infused in everything so it's just uh, it's an amazing uh, story it's an amazing historical event happening on planet earth so please come and meet Swamiji do yourself the best thing you can ever do uh, to yourself and to your life and even to everybody around you that you know because what an amazing being you'll be and how you'll be able to enrich their life also so thanks again for watching today and stay tuned for more as I share uh, the deeper truths that Swamiji is giving us Nityanandam